Hello fellow paint pourers and YouTubers, my name is Maya of Maya Hussein Designs and um, this is my second YouTube video ever. Um, I finally decided I could just talk on the phone and do voiceovers on the phone and that would work perfectly fine. Um, I'm an amateur painter, uh, everything I've learnt from, paint, from doing paint pouring in the last three and a half months or so is from literally watching other, all of you uh, amazing other painters on YouTube that are generous enough to share their time on videos and also just joining a bunch of Facebook groups and then you just sort of try things and learn as you go along and um, that's what I would recommend you do if you're a new person starting out. Um, so the painting that I'm going to show the method for today is was inspired by a painting that I saw on one of my Facebook groups by this artist called Nathan Neal. He did this beautiful sort of seascape looking um, canvas, big one. So I thought I want to try that and then he didn't really explain exactly how he did the method so I sort of guessed it and sort of did my version of it. So this is the, the painting that I'm talking about that I'm going to demonstrate later on today. So it's um, chakra colours or rainbow colours. I've personally named this piece Skittle because uh, it looks like the you want to eat the colours of the rainbow or whatever the slogan is. So um, that's what I've called it. Um, it's dried now, uh, obviously, because <laughs> I'm handling it. And um, just before I jump into the method as well, um, I just wanted to share with you what my um, pouring medium is at the minute. So paints-wise, I use all sorts of paints. Not bothered. Anything that I can get my hands on that says acrylic on it, it's good. But I've tried to become more thoughtful nowadays where I'm trying to layer... I mean, some people say it doesn't it works, some people say it doesn't really make a difference, but I'm trying to layer opaques and semi-transparents and transparents, just, especially in a dirty pour or in a swipe, just to see what the effects are and if it makes a difference. Um, for this painting, I think the orange was actually transparent and it wasn't a good idea because... When it dried, the red and the pink bled through to it a little bit, which I didn't like. So, um, yeah, I would recommend for this this type of painting, if you're going to do it, is to um, actually uh, use the same levels or types of paints. And normally for swipes, I'd go a bit thinner than I would normally for pores or other methods, um, just because I find it gives better coverage and cells. Anyway, I'm rambling. Um, one last thing before I get into my video is to just explain what my current pouring medium is. So I've used PVA, uh, usually um, archival versions, and also um, I've tried playing around with Liquitex originally, but it cost a fortune, so I stopped, and I didn't really think I got great results with that. So I've now switched to something called Bindex, which is by Pebio Studios. Um, it's literally called acrylic binder um i think it's used sort of like pva in craft projects i think that's just its intended use but it also says you can use it to extend acrylic paints so i find that if i do just use fluid troll um i don't get enough binding action so this is a much cheaper version of liquitex or gac or whatever the other ones are called um and it costs 10 less than just under 10 pounds on amazon in the uk which is where i buy most of my supplies uh even though i'm living in the middle east at the minute i go back home to the uk sort of every two months or so so i stock up when i'm going home so I use a mixture of this and flowitrol uh so flowitrol i do think is good because it helps with the movement but um like i said i don't think it gives enough binding so i mix it with the um the Pebio stuff. Um, and then in terms of the actual mix, uh, they're both, this is not as runny as Liquitex, but it's slightly more viscous than Fluitrol. So I would mix about 30 to 40% of this with 60 to 70% Fluitrol and um, make, the, make the pouring medium up in a, well, I've got like a little container of it here, like some of that. And um, and then when I mix with my paints, I mix about 50% of that to, no, not about 60% of that to about 40% paint, depending on the type of paint I'm using. And then if I need to, I'll add a few drops of water. Um, and that's it. And then for silicone, I can mix it up. Sometimes I'll use the this coconut hair oil. As you can see, it's completely covered in paint. Or I'll use the um, a silicone spray, which I can't for the life of me even see what the name is called anymore. But I kind of use it the way Rick Cheadle does, where when he does dirty pours, he 
just two colours or so and then sprays and then just a few more colours and sprays. So that's what I do with that. Um, just depends on my mood really and um, kind of the effects that I'm going for. Um, but yeah, when I did the swipe for this painting, I actually did mix in the um, hair oil into every paint. Uh, okay, so anyway, enough babbling. Like I said, if you like what you see, please subscribe, like my video, and um, hit the bell if you want to know more videos that I'm going to, I'm going to be coming up with, which I am trying to do. Um, it's just hard though when you're working full time and trying to do painting and trying to do video editing. So yeah, bear with me. Anyway. Happy painting and enjoy. So I just wanted to take a second to show you the swipe tools that I use. You can buy them in packs of four. I think they're meant for wall plastering, things like that. Cheapest chips. And you need the different sizes and lots of tissue paper and wet wipes to clean off between every swipe, which is what I had to do here. Literally every swipe I had to clean up. So I start by pouring um, my... I'm doing two shades of purple. So this is like a little ready purple. Uh, I start with pouring that and then I do the darker purple. Um, the darker purple is a more translucent colour so I'm hoping when I swipe it's going to have lovely sort of transparent effects as well over the other purple. And then I have this gorgeous petrol blue which is the beginning of my blue tones. This is made with mixing blue and green and a tiny bit of black and I adore this colour. I've used it in other paint, paint swipe, my pores as well, sorry. So then once I've poured my three colours, I swipe, and then I notice that I have a lot of paint at the end. So I, I drag that down again with the swipe tool just to thin it out a bit, because otherwise you're going to get big fat lumps. And then obviously as you go along, you clean up the edges and you try and match them up, because I think the look when it's bleeding over looks lovely, especially on a painting like this. Um, so I spend a bit of time making sure I've matched the colours along the sides and cleaning up. Then I've got two types of turquoise. This one is the same turquoise which I'll be pouring in a sec, uh, but mixed with a bit of the petrol blue. So it's like a, I wanted a proper gradation of colour as I went along. So you see this turquoise now is much brighter, which is getting poured. Actually, is it a turquoise? Mm. Yeah, it might, be, it might be cerulean blue, actually. I'll have to double check. Um, I'll put them in the description, or if you ask me in comments, then I'll add it later, I suppose. So, I see again, what you want to do is pour at least two to three colours and then swipe. So that you, and then you try and do control swipes. Like, I went a bit too far of the purple at the, in the corner. I didn't intend to go that far. You just want it to lace very slightly at the end, but not take over. Like, I've got a big blob of blue now, which I actually correct later on off camera. Um, so, once I've done the blues, I'm going to move on to my greens. And clean up as you can see <laughs> by the way that shirt you're going to see a lot of it in every single one of my videos because that's my painting shirt it's really mucky um, I wash it probably like after I've done a massive paint session uh, it's it's comfy it's my go-to shirt so yeah apologize if you see a lot of it it's not particularly attractive uh, also the sleeve keeps wanting to fall down but amazingly I have yet to catch my sleeve on any of my pores I know I can't believe it either but yeah, there you go. <laughs> um, so, see, I made a big mistake here already. I did just the one colour of the green and try and swipe that. And so, again, I'm not getting the laciness because there's no colours to move with it. And so that's a lesson I've learnt now watching back. I shouldn't have done that. So because I've got quite um, chunky swipe here, I try and get lacy effects using a bit of silicone and dragging and swiping the other direction but it doesn't work, so don't do that. Do at least two, three colours paused, poured before you swipe. Uh, I can see I keep trying to like get some cells coming up with the old um, blowtorch, but it's not really happening. Um, and then I also think the green was too thick in terms of consistency, so it didn't move as well as the blues and the other colours had. See how lovely the blues laced over the purples? That's kind of what I was hoping to carry on through the whole painting. So yeah, lesson learned there. So uh, I go on to the next green, which is a lime green. And this green um, is a nice gradation color onto the yellow, which will be the next color coming up. So yeah, just think about the color wheel and the colors and how you, if you're trying to do this rainbow effect. Um, again, I made the silly mistake of just trying to swipe the one color over the other colors. And you're never really gonna get cells and effects because you just don't have enough um, different layers to get that effect so again that was a bit silly 
don't know why I did that. Also, I want to show, explain something here. Um, you'll see me w doing a lot of getting the corner of my swiping tool and dragging it through bits of paint. And the reason I do that is I'm trying to break up those um, distinct lines. Like you, you know when you swipe, you've got a swipe line, like a straight line. And I want it to look more like a sun ray kind of effect, gradiated. So if you cut in on those lines while it's still wet with the tool, what will happen is it will break up the distinct line and blend it more. Um, so yeah, that's what you'll see me doing every time you see the corner of my tool digging into the canvas, that's what I'm trying to do. So again, stupidly, I'm trying to use a torch to get cells out, but obviously nothing's happening because there aren't enough um, colors or layers uh, at this point. See, there's, there's me cutting in like I was explaining earlier, and that just softens up those lines. And at this point, I try to tilt, hoping I'll get more cells to pop up. Um, but because this is quite a long process, I mean, this entire painting took me over an hour to do with the cleaning up the sides and all that kind of stuff. So, um, yeah, when you try to swipe again and again and again, uh, it's, it's drying up. It's not, it's not going to work. So you have to... You can also spot pour in places if you see bare patches or you don't like it. Just pour the colour that you were swiping with and redo it. And that's perfectly fine to do as well while it's still wet. Uh, just be brave. Don't worry about, you know, thinking you might mess up. You can, to an extent, redo or re-pour certain bits. And I'll show you more of these types of tricks in future videos where I've done that to make my cells nicer as well. Um... So then I'm onto the yellow layer. Uh, again, I went wrong with the yellow because it was a very um, uh, opaque yellow and the lime green just before it wasn't as op uh, opaque and then the orange afterwards is very transparent. So what's happened is that the yellow is... Again, I've just tried to swipe yellow on its own. Oh God, I'm cringing when I think back on this video. What I should have done is poured the blue the greens and the yellows and then swipe the whole lot so yeah note mental note for next time I will be doing that um the yellow again is not blended as nicely into the green and the greens practically disappeared at this point because the yellow is so opaque so I like I was saying at the very beginning of my introduction you want to have similar opacities I think for this type of paint pour because um Otherwise, you might get good effects, but I feel where I want a distinctive um, gradation of colour like this, different transparencies didn't help that at all. Uh, and then you'll see in the orange, because it's so transparent and obviously a lot less dense than the paint, uh, than the yellow and the red that follows it, it's it just takes over and in the end result, it looks almost like I've got... Um, one of those, you know, on the surface of the sun, what they call those solar wind things. It looks like that. It's just a bit too much. I mean, cells are the lacing's stunning, but it's it's just like on, only in that bit, so it looks a bit odd. You'll see what I'm doing. So then all of a sudden, I think my brain's kicked in here, and I realise I shouldn't be swiping individual colours. So then I've poured the orange and the red together, and then swiped through the whole lot over the yellow. Um... And that's a much better gradiated effect, which is what I should have been doing for the yellows and the greens. Um, and then you see, I've swiped quite far out. So it's taken over the yellow quite a lot. And at this point, I'm thinking I want more cells and I had far too much red there as well. I'm not a huge fan of red in general, so I think I was trying to thin it out. So I swiped, I swiped, um, I tilted quite severely in that direction. But doing that tilting has made the cells and the lacing come out in droves on the orange, which is a beautiful effect if I had that consistently across. What I also noticed to my horror at that point was that the blue had started pouring in the other way, but not lacing out. It was just a big glob of it. So then I had to go back, clean up my tool and try and fix that blue later on. Um, in the meantime, I just finished up this corner here. So I've poured magenta. It's a semi-transparent magenta, um, and it looked gorgeous, actually, blending in with, with the red and the orange. 
but then at the end I felt that it was a bit solid so I actually get the original pale purple that I use and I mixed I swiped a little bit of that in the in the bottom left hand corner which I'm not sure if it's in this video or not because it's turned into such a long long video in the end that it may have been left out um but yeah I, th I hope you've got the idea of I guess I'm going to call this method a controlled drag and a, a controlled swipe sorry um and I hope you've got an idea now of how it's done and how how it, how it works uh obviously with better um paint consistencies and I'm just going around fixing things now. Um, yeah, so with better paint consistencies and making sure you swipe across multiple colours, you're going to get better gradiated effects than I did in this painting. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to tidy up and get more um, lacy, wispy ends again, like I had for the original portion of this painting. Uh, so I just keep doing uh, spot drop, port, spot... Um, Oh god, I'm getting tongue tied. Um, spot pause, and I'm trying to redo my yellow because I just felt like the orange was taking over too much here. So I'm dragging the other direct. I'm swiping the other direction into the orange here, trying to reduce the amount that that was coming out, which I think's helped because it was still flowing. You can't tell that in the video, but the orange kept going out and out and out because it was so much less heavy, less heavy, less dense than than the yellow. And uh, that's the finished piece. Um, just trying to do a close up so you can see all the lacing around the orange there. The corners are beautiful, it's the middle that I have real issues with. But people seem to really enjoy this painting, so I'm just going to let it, let it stay as it is. Um, and then just some stills here. So, yeah, please subscribe and like if you've enjoyed watching this, and if you have any other questions please uh, write them in the comments. Thank you.